This is how I fight my battles. 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 Come on, come on. This is how I fight my
So church, will you please stand to your feet and let's welcome the man of God. Let's welcome Prophet Shaiju Matthew. As he... My name is Shaiju. And my boss, his name is Jesus Christ. I want to take a second to thank my spiritual father for sending me out. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiva. I want to thank my wife, Tini Matthew. She sends you her love. Usne apna pyar aapke liye bheja hai. Then please be seated. I want to tell you there is nothing more powerful than the word of God. We are in a generation where the love for the word of God is reduced. And People like entertainment. I myself, I hear God because if I were to start prophesying tonight, I may prophesy for 5-10 people and everybody else is upset because they are thinking God doesn't love me. Only those people are special. But when the word of God comes to you, it comes to everybody. The word of God will not miss you tonight. I know some of you are very far. But I want you to know that the word of God is very near. So you are going to enjoy hearing Jesus talking to you one on one. And I'm really happy you came today. Because the word that I'm carrying in my spirit is a very heavy one. And I, in fact, I, I've been wrestling with it for a while. And, and very strongly I felt the Lord say, I have to share this again in, in Pune. God is sending me to India. I am from India. But God had to take me out to another location for some time. And help me understand and see India from an external point of view. And now God is sending me back to my own country. So that I am able to equip the Indian church in a very external perspective to see very clearly from the outside in. And I want to help you understand where we are going today. This is the final hour. 
हम आखिरी घड़ी में हैं दिस इज द फाइनल आवर ये आखिरी घड़ी है लेट मी शो यू अब I want you to open to 1 John chapter 2:18. John chapter 2 and verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. Little children, this is the last time. Okay and as ye have heard that antichrist shall come even now are there many antichrist uh-huh. whereby we know that it is the last time this is the last time which version are you reading abuso king james version the esv version says this is the last hour what what does it say in hindi Okay, this is the last hour. This is the last time. You have to understand the church for the longest of time we've said Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. देखिए हम कलीसिया होने के नाते हमने कई दिनों से बरसों से कह रहे हैं कि यीशु मसीह जल्दी आ रहे हैं. So sometimes people start thinking I that's just what they say to you know make us holy and pure. और कई बार शायद लोग हैं कि हमें कुछ बातें सिखा रहा है और हम ध्यान देंगे। ओके, नोटिस अ फ्यू थिंग्स। इट इज यू हर्ड दैट एंटी क्राइस इज कमिंग और ऐसा लिखा है कि तुम जानते हो कि मसीह विरोधी आने वाला है सो नाउ मेनी एंटी क्राइस हैव कम और अब उसके ही अनुसार बहुत से मसीह विरोधी आ चुके हैं उठ खड़े हुए हैं। एंड ही सेइंग एंटी क्राइस हैज कम और ये भी लिखा है कि बस आ भी गए हैं उठ खड़े हुए हैं एंड व्हाट इज एंटीक्राइस्ट डूइंग और अब वो मसीह विरोधी क्या कर रहा है टर्निंग पीपल अगेंस्ट क्राइस्ट वो लोगों को मसीह से दूर ले जा रहा है सो दैट वी गो बैक ऑल द वे टू द बिगिनिंग ऑफ टाइम ताकि हम जो है वो समय की जो शुरुआत के समय तक चले और आई शुड से बिफोर टाइम वाज या समय की शुरुआत से पहले What happened there in heaven? Do you remember? आपको पता है स्वर्ग में क्या हुआ? There was one third of God's angels that was deceived by Lucifer. और एक तिहाई स्वर्ग दूत ऐसे थे जिनको लुसिफर ने भरमाया. And the Bible says they all fell from heaven. और भाई भी कहती है उनको स्वर्ग से निकाल दिया गया वो स्वर्ग से गिरा दिए गए. And that is called the first falling away. और उसे जो है पहला गिरना कहा गया है एंड द सेकंड टाइम देयर वाज अ फॉलिंग अवे और जब दूसरी बार का गिरना हुआ इज इन द गार्डन ऑफ ईडन वो आदम की वाटिका में हुआ वेयर एडम एंड ईव वाज डिसीव्ड बाय सैटन एंड दे फेल फ्रॉम ग्रेस जहां आदम और हव्वा को जो है धोखा दिया गया भरमाया गया और मसीह के अनुग्रह से वो अलग हुए नाउ In Thessalonians the Bible is again saying that there is going to be another falling away. Aur Thessalonian ka likha hua jo patra hai usme likha hai ki ek aur girna hoga before the coming of Christ. Masih ke aane se pehle before even that major main antichrist manifests. Isse pehle ki wo mukhya masih virodhi aaye ek aur girna hoga. There is going to be another falling away. Ek aur girna hoga. If you can find the verse you can read it for me. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Aha. Uh-huh. It says let no man deceive you by any means. Okay. Let no man deceive you. Look at your neighbor and say let nobody deceive you. Apne padosi ko dekh kar kahe koi manushya tumhe dhoka na de sake. Except that there come a falling away first. Okay, this is talking about the return of Jesus. Or yaha par Yeshu Masih ke vapas aane ke vishay mein likha hai. 
and he said that day shall not come except there be a falling, falling away first uh-huh. and that man of sin be revealed uh-huh. the son of perdition okay so before the antichrist is revealed the spirit of antichrist is already here through the evangelists of antichrist what does it do it causes the third falling away all right are you always me so far i don't want to be so deep where i lose you okay so first falling away was in heaven second falling away was in the garden of eden and the third falling away is on earth where he is saying that before the revealing of antichrist there must be a falling away so he is saying that the spirit of antichrist is already here now when you hear the word falling away jab aap dekhte ho padhte ho ki logo ka girna hoga it means that the uh, individual was standing in order to fall iska matlab ye hai ki koi vyakti khada tha aur uske pashchat uske baad so falling away means he was standing but now they fall gir jayega yani ki pehle kabhi khada tha aur ab gir raha hai that is why the angels were first standing before the lord and they fell isliye swarg doot pehle parmeshwar ke samne khade the aur uske baad wo gire adam and eve were standing and they fell adam aur hawa pehle prabhu ke samne khade hote the fir wo gire so when you say there must be a great falling away is it talking about believers or non believers to jab likha hai ki dharm ka tyag hoga log alag ho jayenge girenge to wo vishwasiyon ke vishay mein likha hai kya vishwasiyon ke isn't that scary kya ye baat this is why jesus is saying when i return to earth will i find faith yeshu se keh rahe hain jab main prithvi par laut kar aaunga kya mujhe vishwas nazar aayega and that is why jesus is saying there will be many people that will distract you deception deceived the real christ is disappearing from the churches aur isliye yeshu se kehte hain kai aayenge jo tumhe dhoka denge aur asal maayne mein masih jo hai wo kalisiya mein nazar nahi aa raha when the real jesus comes the church is busy with many false christ aur jab asli yeshu aayenge tab kalisia bahut se jhoote yeshuon ke saath i have said this that the way you overcome the spirit of deception main ye kehta raha hu ki aapko agar dhoke ki is atma par vijay hona hai is through the word of god to wo parmeshwar ke vachan ke dwara hi hoga The reason why the angels fell is because they did not have access to the word of God. Aur swargdoot kyun gire? Kyunki parmeshwar ke vachan ko wo nahi pa wo unke paas prabhu ka vachan nahi tha. The reason Adam and Eve fell is because instead of accessing Jesus, they accessed the tree and the fruit. मैं इस बात को लेकर बहुत ही विश्वस्त हूँ आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट मैं इस बात को लेकर और यीशु मसीह कह रहे हैं कि लोग इवन दो जीसस इज प्रोफेसाइंग दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ ग्रेट फॉलिंग अवे एंड सो मेनी मिलियंस ऑफ क्रिस्टियंस दैट आर कॉलिंग देम सेल्फ एस क्रिस्टियंस विल नॉट गो टू हेवन और यीशु मसीह कह रहे हैं लेकिन मैं विश्वास नजर नहीं आएगा और कई लाखों की तादाद में जो लोग अपने आप को विश्वास ही कहते हैं उस वर्ग शायद ना पहुंचे बट आई बिलीव यू एंड आई वी विल एस्केप दैट इन जीसस मैं विश्वास करता हूं आप और मैं इस धोखे के शिकार नहीं होंगे इफ योर नेबर इज नॉट शाउटिंग ही इज अ सस्पेक्ट I want to know which camp you are in. Mujhe pata karna chahiye ki aap kis ki taraf ho. Ha which camp you are in? Are you in Christ camp or anti Christ camp? Aap masi ki taraf ho ya uske virodh ki taraf ho? 
then you better shout better than that. So I want you to see the system of darkness. And we're going to break that apart in Pune. So I want you to say a word of prayer right now. Say, Lord, I need you to open my eyes. I want you to open my understanding. I want to receive an anointing to receive this word. I will not miss this. I shall not miss your return. The spirit of deception that is fighting me, that is fighting my family, is exposed after tonight. I wish your amens were louder. 30 seconds, pray like your life depends on it. Rate broko shalata. Fight. Can I hear you fight? Let fire fall upon you. Let fire fall upon your neighbor. Stir up your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. And loudly say Amen. Now we are going to, I'm going to take you, I'm going to take your eyes into the world of the kingdom of darkness and we are going to expose how Satan works. I promise you the enemy will try his best to make you distracted right now. So, no matter who is moving, you keep your eyes focused on me for the next half an hour at least. Now the enemy will start making all kinds of distractions around you, just bind it. There is a, a time in the Old Testament I want to take you to. Please listen to me. There is a woman called Jezebel. You know that story about Jezebel? Jezebel was the wife of Ahab. And this woman was a very evil woman. Even though the king was Ahab, she was more powerful than the king. And she controlled Ahab. She was more wicked to the point where she was more famous than the king himself. And the thing she was known for was for persecuting the prophets of God. Through fear, she controlled the prophets of God. The ones that she could not control by fear, she would seduce them, give them temptations that she can now use that to control them. In other words, she was adulterating the kingdom of Israel. 
वो दूसरे शब्दों में इसराइल का जो राष्ट्र है उसे दूषित कर रही है शी वाज टर्निंग द पीपल ऑफ गॉड अवे फ्रॉम गॉड टू द आइडल्स ऑफ बाल और वो इजराइल के लोगों in the midst of it there is an arrival of a mighty man of god the bible calls him elijah or bible Elijah is not like everybody else. Elijah is somebody that is passionate for the heart of God. Elijah comes out fire blazing. और एलिया आग से भरपूर आता है एंड ही बिगिन्स टू चैलेंज द सिस्टम ऑफ जजबेल और वो जजबेल ने जो एक एक सिस्टम तैयार किया था वो उसके विरोध में काम करने लगा ही गो स्ट्रेट टू एहाब एंड चैलेंजेस हिम और वो सीधा अहब राजा के सामने जाता है और उसे चुनौती देता है एंड ही सेज अनलेस आई से there shall be no rain or dew wo kehta hai jab tak main na kahu to yahan na barish hogi na os padegi in other words he is saying you think you are king wo kehta hai tujhe lagta hai ki tu raja hai but we going to test that lekin ha us baat ko thoda hum jaanch lenge aaj because he is not saying thus says the lord kyunki wo ye nahi keh raha ki prabhu ki vaani yu hai because if you are a prophet kyunki agar आप एक भविष्यवक्ता हैं। The means you are a messenger of the Lord। यानी कि आप प्रभु का स्वर लेकर आने वाले बने हों। As a prophet, you hear। एक नबी प्रभु की सुनता है। And you come and say। और आकर लोगों से कहता है। But he is not coming and saying, "I was on the mountain top. I was on prayer and fasting. On the seventh day, the word of God came to me, and I have to come and tell it to you." Or do ye nahi keh raha ki suno, mai upvas prarthana mein tha, aur parvat ke upar chada hua tha. Saat din ke baad Prabhu ki vani mujh par aayi, aur mai wo baatein aapko bata raha hu. He is coming and saying, "Unless I say." Wo kya kya hai? Mai jab tak nahi keh raha. So some Christians will already say he is a false prophet. Or ab kuch Masihi log aisi baaton ko sunkar gaye hain ki ye to jhoota nabi hai. Because he did not give God glory. Is kyunki isne parmeshwar ko mahima hi nahi di. This guy he is not humble at all. Ye bhai bilkul namra nahi hai. He is coming and say I me I I. Man man kuch se. Because you see are we Christians we like to say correct things. Dekho hum Masihi log hai na hum ko sahi But Elijah does not care about what people think. He comes and says, "Arey, bhaiya, you like me or not? Unless I say, nothing happens in my country." वो कहता है भाई, तुम मुझे पसंद करो नहीं करो जब तक मैं नहीं कहूँगा बारिश नहीं होगी. You know, some people don't know how power works. You may be a big politician. You may be on a throne. Maybe you have a golden crown on your head. But I come to you in the name of the Lord. Let the powers hear me loud and clear. आज जो सामर्थ है वो मेरी आवाज को सफाई से सुने दैट इवन टुडे द गॉड ऑफ एलाइजा इज अलाइव और आज के दिन भी एलिया का परमेश्वर हमारे बीच मौजूद है एलाइजास डोंट नीड वोट्स जो एलिया होते हैं ना उनको वोट्स की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती एलाइजा वॉज नॉट वोटेड इन एलिया को वोट देकर किसी ने नबी नहीं बनाया एलाइजा के नॉट बी वोटेड आउट एलिया को कोई वोट ना देकर निकाल भी नहीं सकता एलाइजा कम्स एंड सेस अनलेस आई से एलिया कहता है जब मैं ना कहूं सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू द चर्च अबाउट द वर्ड आई 
He is not being arrogant. He just knows who he is. Because you see, you would prefer him say, oh, to God be all the glory, it is not me. But not, not Elijah. He knows who he is. He knows the heart of God. When you become one with the heart of God, and when you see Elijah come and says, unless I say, there is a place where the calling and an individual becomes one. Can I explain to you the spirit of Elijah? The Bible talks about the spirit of Elijah that traveled time. And then it manifests as an individual, his name was John the Baptist. The Bible says John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. He didn't say Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Ah. Other than the spirit of John. Now he has the spirit of Elijah. So how many spirits are in one person? Does John have his, his own spirit? So that is spirit number one. Does John have the Holy Spirit? So if the Holy Spirit is helping him, he has that two spirits already. If John has the spirit of Elijah, how many spirits is that already? That's three. Already some of you are theologically confused now. That man who was possessed with a ligian, how many spirits did he have? So a demon possessed person can have thousands of spirits. But why is it for Christians it's so difficult to believe that oh Elijah's spirit how can it keep let me show you how the enemy works. So Jezebel destroys prophets. And now she begins to face Elijah. And Elijah is terrified. Elijah is what? Terrified. He is scared for his life. And the Bible says he starts running. Runs and he stays under the juniper tree and now he is saying, just kill me Lord. And that spirit intimidated Elijah so much that he wanted to die. But this is how God works. When you fail one time, God will give you another chance. So the Bible talks about it in the book of Revelation. There is two people that will come down to challenge the spirit of Antichrist. Can you guess who are the two people? Enoch and Elijah. 
So Elijah, if you thought you lost one time, don't worry. The Lord is saying, I'm giving you another opportunity. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not rush. Let me let me slowly show you how the just spirit of Isabel works. Spirit of Jezebel is a spirit of Antichrist. Why? She turns people against the living God. Now the woman Jezebel, she died by a warrior called Jehu. But the spirit of Jezebel doesn't die. The spirit of Jezebel continues. So the challenge he gave Elijah was this day I'm going to make sure that I'm going to take your head off. Now fast forward to the New Testament. But in New Testament, the John the Baptist begins to preach. Simultaneously, there is a queen there. That queen begins to have an obsessive anger towards John the Baptist. She gets her king, just like Jezebel did with Ahab. She gets her king to imprison John the Baptist. And she desires something from the king. She said, I want the head of John the Baptist. Now, if you understand what is happening, what does John the Baptist carry? He carries the spirit of Elijah. Okay. So right now, here is Elijah in the Old Testament. This is Elijah in the New Testament in the body of whom? John the Baptist. This is Jezebel in the body of the woman called Jezebel. Now in the New Testament, the spirit of Jezebel jumps upon this queen. Uh-huh. This is Mark chapter 6 and verse 17. Okay. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John uh -huh. and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake. Uh -huh. His brother, Philip's wife, for he had married her. Uh -huh. For John had said unto Herod, it is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Okay. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and, a whole, and was holy and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. Hmm. And when a convenient day was come, ah. that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains and chief estates of Galilee. Uh -huh. And when the daughter of, of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod uh -huh. and then came and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, uh -huh. ask of me whatever thou wilt and I will give it to thee. Okay. And he swear unto her, whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it to thee and even unto half of my kingdom. Hmm. And she went forth and said unto her mother, Oh, the queen. Okay. What shall I ask? Uh -huh. And she said, The head of John the Baptist. Did you hear that? This queen now is not talking by herself. This queen is now talking under the influence of a Jezebelic spirit. 
Now in the Old Testament Jezebel challenged Elijah and said tomorrow by this time I shall have your head. Aur purane karar mein Jezebel ne Eliya se kaha kal is samay tak mere haathon mein tera sar hoga. So the lady who was carrying the spirit of Jezebel Jezebel died. Aur wo stri jiska naam Jezebel tha jiske andar Jezebel ki aatma thi wo purane karar mein mar gayi. Then spirit is now come into the New Testament. Lekin wahi aatma ab naye karar mein manifesting to this queen facing john the baptist but is not john the baptist because he is coming in the spirit of whom elijah and she fulfills the promise she said thousands of years ago he says i need your his head in a plate and sadly she was successful in taking john the baptist's head aur dukh ki baat ye hai ki usne yohanna da atma ka uska sar pa liya okay let's i'll come back to the story in one second but i want you to understand the principle main ek siddhant aapko sikhana chahta hu the lady jezebel died in the old testament but she continued attacking in the new testament wo naye karar mein bhi hamle karti rahi the man elijah was taken up elia utha liya gaya but the spirit of elijah continued in the new testament lekin elia ka aatma naye karar mein kaam karta raha okay you, this is clear so far yes samajh mein aa gaya sabko so if this is the scenario aur agar ye ab ka chitra hai i'm going to accelerate you to our time main inhi baaton ko ab badha kar apne hamare samay mein lekar aaya hu old testament New Testament. Right now, where you are alive. Or up ye samay jaha aap aur main zinda hain. You with me? Sit rahe ho. Jezebel in a body. Jezebel ek sharir mein thi. She died, but the spirit didn't die. Wo mar gayi, uska aatma nahi mara. It overtook another body in the New Testament. Nay karar mein usne ek aur sharir ke upar kabza kiya. And now it's our time. Or up ye hamara samay. Okay now I'm going back to the verse I said before. The spirit of antichrist is already here. Aur wo masi nirodh ki aatma abhi hamare beech hai. And is talking about antichrist manifesting. Aur wo keh raha hai ke wo masi nirodhi mukhya aane wala hai. Okay so now you're seeing how the enemy works. Aap dekh rahe ho ki dushman kaam kaise karta hai. But in everything a spirit does even in the kingdom of darkness spirits need a body to possess and work through atmaon ko ek sharir ki zarurat hoti hai jiska wo kabza kare aur uske dwara wo kaam kare so now let's look into the spirit of the kingdom of god aur ab hum parmeshwar ke rajya ki atma ko dekhe elijah there eliya tha wahan par John the Baptist the spirit of Elijah Yohanna Baptist ka data jo Eliya ke aatma mein aaya our time aur ab ye hamara samay hai Let's go back to Old Testament now Purane karar mein jaye What was the problem with Elijah Eliya ke sath samasya kya hai The problem with Elijah is he does not have a spiritual father Eliya ka tabib ye tha koi aapne pita nahi tha He does not have a mentor Uska koi mentor There is nobody that he can go and say man of god i have a problem aur wo aisa koi nahi tha uske paas jiske paas jaake wo keh sake ki prabhu ke das meri ek samasya hai i don't know this lady is crazy main nahi janta ye stree jo hai jo hai pagal si ho gayi hai there is no instruction in his spirit that can cause him to escape this fear aur uske andar aisa koi nirdesh hai hi nahi jiske karan wo is dar se peecha chura sake Elijah had a son called Elisha. Lekin Eliya tha ek beta tha jiska naam tha Elisha. You know what happened? Ab pata hai kya hua? The spirit of Ahab jung jumped on his son called Umri. Aur jo Ahab ka jo aatma hai uske bete ke upar jiska naam Umri tha uske upar kuda. And he came trying to scare Elisha aur wo aakar Elisha ko darane laga and he said i am today i'm going to take off the head of Elisha wo kehta hai ki aaj main Elisha ka sar kaat ke rahunga give me a chair thank you 
and the bible says elisha was sitting with all the elders aur bible kehti hai elisha jo hai sare buzurgon ke sath baitha tha ye i don't know maybe at popcorn or masala puri or masala puri kha raha tha bel puri i don't know what he was eating and somebody comes and says oh look ahab son is coming aur kisi ne aake kaha dekho ahab ka beta aa raha hai you should hear his reply उसको But Elisha sat in his house uh-huh. and the elders sat with him. Ah. Uh-huh. And the king sent a man from before him. Ah. Uh-huh. But here the messenger came to him. He said to the elders, "See how the son of a murderer had sent to take away my head." He's not even calling Ahab as a king. Wow, to raja ke kabhi naam nahi le raha. He's calling him son of a murderer. Wo kehta hai dekho us khuni ka beta. He is not even scared of him. Okay, and then go on and say, huh. "See how the he, the son of a of a murderer had sent huh. to take away my head. Huh. Look, when the messenger cometh, shut the door and hold him fast at the door." <laughs> He's saying, "Don't even let him inside." He's saying, "You think he is king? Close the door. Let him wait outside." <laughs> Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? Okay. And while he yet talked huh. with them, behold, the messenger came huh. and came down unto him, and he said, "Behold, this evil is of the Lord. Huh. What should I wait for the Lord any longer?" Hmm. Then Elisha said, "Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hmm. Thus saith the Lord: Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold." For a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel ah. in the gate of Samaria. Ah. Then a lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, "Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, uh, might this thing be?" And he said, "Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof." And that guy who said that died by trample. He they trampled him. he saw it happen aur ye baatein jis vyakti se kahi gayi wo vyakti zinda nahi raha ye dekhne ke liye agle din aata kis keemat par bik raha hai kuchal diya gaya you know this is what i want you to see ye baat dhyan se suno papa elijah papa eliya sat with his son elisha usne eliya ke sath baitha say beta beta i had a weakness in my ministry meri sevakai mein kamzori thi That's Jezebel no she really freaked me out. Wo Jezebel jo thi na usne mujhe bahut dara hai. You know what that spirit will come after you. Wo atma tera picha bhi karegi. But don't make the mistake I made. Lekin jo galti maine ki tu mat kar. Don't be afraid of that spirit. Darna nahi hoga. Papa ran. Tera paap bhaga. but not elisha lekin elisha nahi bola because elisha is saying you know you made my father run but me i will take your head elisha kehta hai tune mere pita ko daraya hoga lekin main darne wala nahi main tera sar kaatunga because i have a instruction in my spirit kyunki mere andar ek nirdesh hai i cannot run main daudunga nahi i'm backed up by an instruction from my father mere pita ne mujhe ek nirdesh diya hai listen to me mujhe suno everybody wants double portion from their man of god har wo vyakti jo apne prabhu ke das se dugna bhag karna chahta hai oh i need hai. double portion mantle oh mujhe dugna bhag chahiye the double portion you need is an instruction from your father aapko dugna bhag ek nirdesh ka chahiye where you 
लोग कैसे चल मई बाबा वॉट कैन आई डू और आपको ये कहना है कि पापा मुझे बताओ बिकॉज क्या करना है लॉन्ग आफ्टर पापा इज गो क्योंकि जब पिताजी नहीं रहेंगे यू विल बी रूसे चाइल्ड ऑफ गो आप उस निर्देश के कारण मजबूत खड़े रहेंगे Can I show you what happened in the New Testament? Main aapko dikhao ek karar mein kya hua? I'm telling you Old Testament what he didn't have a backup. Purane karar mein uska koi backup nahi tha. Fast forward to New Testament. Nay karar mein John the Baptist. John the Baptist wala. He saw heaven open. Usne swarg ko khulta hua dekha. And he saw the dove coming and sitting on on Jesus. Usne dekha ki pavitra atma Yeshu Masih par utar kar baitha. And he said behold the lamb behold the lamb behold the lamb of God. Aur usne kaha dekho parmeshwar ka menna parmeshwar ka menna. He witnessed it he prophesied it he declared he saw heaven he heard the voice of God said this is my beloved son. Usne aakash ko khulta hua dekha parmeshwar ki vaani suni aur usne is baat ka ghoshna bhi kiya. And the Bible says that Some of his disciples started leaving him and going and joining the ministry of Jesus. Or a woman Bible says that he was a few chele, Yohanna's few chele. His servant got chored, got up, and Jesus was behind him. Slowly, pride started manifesting. Slowly, offense started coming. Let me help some pastors. I want to help some pastors. I want to help some pastors. Thank you, my dear pastor. Please don't hit me. But let me help you with this. You don't know who you really are. Until some sheep leave you. When certain sheep leave you, and you can be. at rest and smile aur jab aisa ho tab aap aaram se rahe aur aapki muskaan churai na jaye then you know spirit of jezebel has no power on you tab aapko pata chalega ki jezebel ki jo aatma hai uska aapke upar koi asar nahi hoga many many pastors are defeated in this one area kai pastors is ek ilake mein haar jate hain three people left your church and went to another pastor Now, now pastors breakfast that pastor is sitting on the other table and you're eating cereal here or oh, sorry masala dosa <laughs> and you don't masala masala pav eh? yes you're eating masala pav here you don't want to look at that pastor because he stole three of my believers aap jo hai ek mez par baitho and three major tight givers he stole aap wo us pastor ko aap dekhna bhi nahi chahte kyun aapke kalisya ke Now the whole pastors meeting all the pastors are clapping hands but no unity. Aur ab pastors ki meeting ho rahi hai sare pastor taali baja rahe hain par ekta nahi hai. You are shaking hands I praise the Lord you praise. Aap haath mila rahe ho ha praise the Lord. Because you inside you know you want to beat him up. Kyunki andar aap kya kya chal raha hai? You are telling is that those days you know thank God I am saved. Aap aise bol rahe ho dhanyawad parmeshwar ka mera uddhar hua hai. If I was not saved. You know I'm telling a little bit truth. I'm adding some masala, but truth is in the masala. So, आपको पता है मैं सच बोल रहा हूँ थोड़ा मसाला लगा के बोल रहा हूँ मगर सच बोल रहा हूँ. You know when you become so deep in God. देखो आप परमेश्वर में इतना गहरा हो जाते हो. When people steal your sheep, then let them go. जब लोग आपको छोड़कर चले गए अरे जाने दो. Let them. You're donating sheep to the kingdom of God. सुनो परमेश्वर के राज्य में आप भेड़ों को donate कर रहे हो. Donate them. Some people bless you with their presence. Other people bless you with their absence. कुछ लोगों के होने से आप आशीषित हो, कुछ लोगों के ना होने से. Let them go. Somebody say it loud. Let them go. जाने दो. You become rooted. आपकी जड़े गहरी जानी चाहिए. John was offended with Jesus. Yohanna. And he sent people to ask him, ask him, are you really the Jesus that we are expecting, the Messiah, or should we wait for another? Oh, who Yeshu Masih ke pas logo ko bejta hai, wajah jaake pooch ke aao ki tum wohi ho jo aane wale the, ki kisi aur ka intezar kare. This is the problem in the New Testament. Main kalaar mein ye taqlid hai. The enemy wants you to doubt your Jesus. Dushman chahta hai ki aap apni Yeshu par shak kare. 
you know that question was asked from the jail wo sawal jail se kiya gaya please pay attention now that offense came when he was in the jail wo chot usse tab lagi jab wo jail mein tha until before the jail he said this is a lamp of god this is a lamp of this is the lamp of god wo jail mein jata usse pehle har jagah keh raha hai yahi hai parmeshwar ka mehta when pain came lekin jab dard uske jeevan mein aaya when chains came when jail rods blocked his coming jab uske jeevan mein peeda aayi zanjeere aayi when limitation surrounded him jab uske jeevan mein seemaye aa gayi he started questioning the lord wo prabhu par sawal karne laga this is the problem in the end time ye is aap samay ki the falling away will happen when you start doubting the goodness of god logo ka girna tab shuru hoga jab log prabhu ki bhalai par shak have you noticed that the way you clap hands changed kya aapne dhyan diya ki aapke taaliyan bajane ka dhang badal gaya hai when you didn't get the job jab aapko naukri mili oh i am really believing god i really believe that god is going to get me this job have done all thank you jesus that sunday you're clapping hands so loud aur aap zor da taaliyan baja rahe ho kyun aapke andar vishwas hai aapke to main janta hu prabhu mujhe naukri de pastor was preaching and you were shouting amen pastor prachar kar rahe ho aur aap zor se amen keh rahe ho because you were really hoping to get that job kyunki aapke andar vishwas hai aasha kar rahe ho ki wo naukri aapko mile and then when you found out that you were rejected lekin jab aapko pata chala ki aapko wo naukri nahi mili that sunday us sunday you dragged yourself to the church aap kisi tarah i don't feel like coming to church i feel i have to rest a bit today oh the traffic was too much today you come to church the worship leader i know today the worship leader is not very anointed aur aap kabhi se aate aur aap ko you know the song selection you have to pray a little more i don't know something about the drummer he is not flowing last week pastor sermon was very deep but pastor sermon today no it didn't pastor sermon bahut samarth tha ye is hafte thoda barabar nahi hai ha you are not clapping you are putting some cream on your hands aap taali bhi baja rahe ho na haath mein cream laga rahe ho why kyun oh why kyun why kyun is it so easy to take you away from jesus kya aapko yeshu masi se dur le jana you know you, you know what will happen antichrist will come and give you a six figure job oh wo masi virodhi aayega aapko ek moti tankha wali naukri dega you will leave jesus and you'll go aap yeshu ko chhod kar chale jaoge yeah because some people they go to church just to get married kyunki kuch log kalise aur sirf iske liye jaate hain taaki this church all the singles are taken i'm going to another church ha wo kahenge is kalise mein jitne single log the khatam ho gaye hain andar dusre in my in this church there is no singles and the lord is leading me to another church is galicia mein kuwara koi bacha nahi hai prabhu mujhe us galicia mein le jao your spirituality is connected to where whether you get married or not aur aapki aatmikta is baat se judi hui hai ayo brother do you know what the enemy will give you a six feet tall good looking guy so the dushman aapke jeevan mein ek 6 feet uncha acha dikhne wala ladka lekar aaya hai six figure salary 6 figure wali Six feet tall. Six pack abs. All six six six. Sare six six six. Hey, you're not liking me, ah. Uh, hey. Ah, I'm telling the truth. If things can make you clap better. So no, agar cheezon ki wajah se aapki taaliyan behtar ho sakti hain. Then when those things go away, you will reject Jesus. Uske baad jab wo cheeze aapse le li jayengi, the day you don't have a job, clap hands louder. Jis din aapke paas naukri nahi hai, us din aur zor se taaliyan bajao. It's okay. Is okay if you're not married. ठीक है आपकी शादी नहीं हो रही कोई बात नहीं है. So 
what? What is wrong with being single? You don't know. Ask Apostle Paul. He said it's better not to get married. <laughs> yeah, all the singles want to get married. All the married are saying, wow, how blessed you are. <laughs> Yeah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? <laughs> the enemy, if he can find an offense in your heart, <laughs> Jesus had to stay away from John now. When limitations come, will you question God's goodness? Can I help you? Can I help you? Please, you won't hate me? I, are you sure? Sometimes I do this and then I get stoned. So I, I just don't want to. This is the first time. First time I'm coming to Pune, I don't want you to hate me. Uh, so is it okay I be honest? Most, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Most of us, we have done this sin. The day something did not go well, our love for Jesus was less. That week we didn't pray. That week we turned on TV and watched stupid things. When the great falling away comes, are you sure you will be strong, my brother? I want to help you. Today I want you to slap the devil. I want you to tell the devil, I don't care whether I get married or not. I don't care visa to America or not, I don't care. No. New, new, new car, flat tire, doesn't matter. My love for Jesus will not go crow. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Lift your voice, tell him. Lift. 30 more seconds, open him out, open him out. Yeshu! Don't stop, don't stop. Let your neighbor stop. You shouldn't stop. Tell him, Jesus. I want you to be proud of me. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, Jesus. I want you to be proud of me. A little louder, shout Jesus! Thoda zor se kahu Yeshu! Forgive me, Dada. Mujhe kshama karo, Pita. Bolye, forgive me, Dada. Kahu, Pita, mujhe kshama kare. Forgive me for being so weak. Prabhu, main itna kamzor ho gaya, mujhe kshama karo. But tonight I rise up. Lekin aaj raat mein uth khada hota hu. But tonight I'm rising up. Aaj raat mein uth khada hota hu. I will not be a weak Christian. Main ek kamzor vishwasi nahi rahunga. I will be a general of the Lord. Main masi mein ek sena pati banunga. I will be a general of the Lord. Main ek sena pati jaisa rahunga. Kash, aapke amen ki awaze aur buland ho. Fifteen seconds, clap your hands and slap the devil. Agle pandra second taliya bachao aur dushman ko tamanche maro. Hey, 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 hey. Something is happening. 
Something is happening. Right now, wherever these demons are fighting you, God is giving you authority over these demons. Yes, it's happening. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Let her go. Yes, things are happening. When you're looking around, you're missing it yourself. The power of God is hitting some people. God is delivering some people. The hand of God is coming upon some people. The reason why she's shouting is because God is delivering her from the spirit of delay. I see a dragon bowing down. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. In the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess. As you are responding to Jesus, every demon that is fighting you, Fighting your family, fighting your generation, I come against it. Bow down. Oh. Open your mouth and shout in the name of Jesus. Shout bow down. Holy Ghost fire! Pavitratma ki aag! Leave them. I command every demonic spirit. Wherever you are, leave the people of God right now. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of Antichrist, I command you, you shall not touch the people of God anymore. In the name of Jesus, let my people go. Open your mouth and shout, let my people go. 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 Go! 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 Out! In the name of Jesus! Yes, you can have me. Bar! Out! Bar! Out! Bar! Out! Bar! Don't stop your mouth. Things are leaving you right now. Every spirit of Jezebel that is making you question the goodness of God command it out of your body. Out of your mind. Out of your heart. Out of your spirit. Open your mouth and shout out in the name of Jesus. Demons are coming out. Wherever you are demons hiding, I put fire on you. Demons, I command you now. Out of there. Your time has expired. I said, don't look around, you're missing your blessing. Let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Out. Bye bye. That's it. 
Zal Kantam Brokuteke. Holy Ghost! Fire! Balcony में जो आश्रय है ध्यान दे पवित्र आत्मा की आग। Holy Ghost! Fire! पवित्र आत्मा की आग। I see snakes escaping. मैं देख रहा हूँ सांप यहाँ से डर के भाग रहे हैं। is happening right now. Angels are coming down. And I see them putting crown on some people's head. This is happening right now. I see angels putting a crown on some brothers, some sisters. Child of God receive an impartation right now. Parmeshwar ke logo is anugrah ka. Aaj aap sehbhagi ho jau. Pune, are you ready? Pune, aap tayyar ho. I can't hear you. Pune, are you ready? Pune, aap tayyar ho. Pune, are you ready? Pune, aap tayyar ho. Forget your brother, forget your sister. Apne bhai, apni behen ko bhool jai. You're receiving an impartation right now. Some of the young people are receiving an impartation right now. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive the grace of God. Listening to me. I come to India in the power in the name of Jesus. And the God I serve is alive. There is no witchcraft that can overpower the name of Jesus. There is no power in hell. That can touch in the name of Jesus. और नर्क का कोई सामर्थ यीशु के नाम के आगे खड़ा नहीं होगा। Child of God, are you ready for this? परमेश्वर के लोगों आप तैयार हो क्या? At the count of three. मेरे तीन गिनते ही। I want to release a fire on you. मैं एक आग आपके ऊपर मुक्त करने जा रहा हूँ। That fire is going to your house. वो आग आपके घरों में आएगी। It is going into your finances. वो आपके पैसों में आएगी। Forty years of bondage is breaking. चालीस सालों की बंदुआई आज टूटने वाली है। At the count of three, मेरे तीन गिनते ही। Clap your hands and celebrate when I shout three। तालियां बजाकर उत्सव मनाओ जैसे मैं तीन गिनूं। One, two, two, three, three, fire! उसकी आग। Holy Ghost fire! Pavitratma kiya! Holy Ghost fire! Pavitratma kiya! Holy Ghost fire! Pavitratma kiya! Demons bye bye! Dushkatae bye bye! Demons bye bye! Dushkatae bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! You can never stop the children of God anymore. But make sure that logo ko tum aur nahi rok paoge. Let me hear your amen. मुझे आपकी आमेन की आवाज़ें सुनाई दे। What killed John the Baptist? एक ने योहन ना बप्तिस मदाता को मार दिया। Is a spirit of offence। क्या? वो चोट नाराज़गी का आत्मा। He was offended with Jesus। वो इतना यीशु मसीह से खेदे था। What killed John the Baptist was offence। योहन ना बप्तिस मदाता की अगर जान ली है what is killing many Christians is offense. 
मसीही लोगों को उनका चोट खत्म कर रहा है ऑफेंडेड विद योर ब्रदर आप अपने भाई से नाराज हो विद योर सिस्टर बहन से नाराज विद योर पास्टर अपने पास्टर से नाराज हो विद योर चर्च मेंबर तो कलीसिया के लोगों से नाराज हो इट्स इजी फॉर द एंटी क्राइस्ट टू टेक यू अवे सुनो वो मसीह विरोधी बड़े आसानी से आपको दूर ले जाएगा बट चाइल्ड ऑफ गॉड लेकिन प्रभु के लोगों इफ यू कैन जस्ट फॉरगिव अगर आप क्षमा कर सकते हो टुडे चेंज्स आर ब्रेकिंग आज जंजीरें टूट रही हैं Yes, they hurt you. हाँ, उन्होंने आपको चोट पहुंचाई. Yes, what they said, you are not able to forget. हाँ, उन्होंने जो कहा, शायद आप भुला नहीं पा रहे. What they said ten years ago, it still hurts. हाँ, दस साल पहले कही गई बात आज भी चुपती है. But the spirit of Antichrist has no power over you. लेकिन वो मसीह विरोध की आत्मा का आपके ऊपर कोई नियंत्रण नहीं रहेगा. Ah, I didn't hear you, Amen. मुझे आपकी Amen की आवाज़ें नहीं आईं. Pastors, pastors सुने. Pastors. सारे pastors सुने. I tell you, you're going back with a great power tonight. आज आप एक महान सामर्थ को लेकर यहाँ से जा रहे हो. I told my wife. मैंने अपनी पत्नी से कहा. Said I have seen many pastors very bitter. मैंने मैंने कहा मैंने कई पासवानों को देखा उनके अंदर बहुत कड़वाहट है. Oh, so angry. Some pastors are so angry. बहुत गुस्से में हैं. But not you. From today, you're saying in the name of Jesus. 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 My heart is free. Oh, joy is coming back. The power of God is going to flow through you one more time. You are not upset with God. Lord, I thank you for your goodness. Lord, I thank you for your grace. Bolia, 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 bolia. Yeshu, Yeshu. Thanya wa, thanya wa. बोलिए 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 अपने मुंह को खोलकर बोलिए धन्यवाद दीजिए उसका When you say thank you Jesus जब आप कहते हैं धन्यवाद यीशु Heaven is opening above you स्वर्ग खुलता है आपके लिए Heaven is opening above you स्वर्ग खुलता है आपके लिए Heaven is opening above you स्वर्ग खुलता है आपके लिए Father पिता I release blessings right now अभी तेरे आशीषों को मैं मुक्त करता हूँ Holy Ghost blessings पवित्र in the name of Jesus. Yes, Are you ready? Is your spirit ready to receive? Lord, tonight I want a new anointing. I want to, our church, your church must receive a new anointing. Cry, new anointing. Daddy, my, my city must catch a new anointing. Daddy, do something in Pune. Pune Jezebel cannot take over Pune. Jezebel Pune par havi nahi ho sakti. I don't hear you say amen. Main aapki amen ki awaz nahi sun raha. I said Jezebel cannot take over Pune. Maine kaha Jezebel Pune par havi nahi hogi. Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, sad. 